Sugesh here and uh, now in this video we will be continuing in the section of our ureter the, this is this will be the second part of the ureter in this we will be discussing the blood supply and the main anatomical constructions of the esophagus okay and in the previous video as we have discussed the basic uh, anatomy cross anatomy and relations and parts okay and the course of the ureter how what is the pathway of the ureter in the first part first you watch that video then come to this video okay so in this video we'll be seeing the constructions actually the anatomical constructions so first of all we have total five constructions uh, which we have actually there are three uh, main anatomical constructions which are called as narrowing of esophagus and uh, out of which there are two surgical constructions which are used actually during the surgery so they are found during the surgery so that's why but overall you should remember all the five constructions as these are important during the surgery okay like stones are more prone to develop in this regions okay so kidney stones okay now uh, we have first we have the pelvic uh, pelvic ureter junction so this one is the first uh, pelvic ureter junction this all we will be relating on the diagram just first we will discuss the theoretical part here so pelvic ureter junction uh, is the junction where the renal pelvis joins the upper end of the ureter so the meaning is that uh, from where the, your ureter actually starts that area is actually called as renal pelvis of the kidney so just uh, the upper end so the, just the starting of the uh, ureter so that area uh, in that area when the upper end of the ureter and the renal pelvis actually joins together and in that region there is a construction and that construction is actually called as pelvic ureteric junction that junction is called so on this junction there is the there is the first construction now second is on the crossing the pelvic bream so pelvic bream when it actually enters your pelvic inlet or you can say when it actually crosses the pelvic bream area of the pelvis so uh, and this area also uh, crosses the common iliac artery also so th this is the common location from which actually your common iliac artery also crosses so from that area there is the second construction you will see in crossing the pelvic brain clear now the third point where the construction occurs is the point where ureter is crossed by ductus deferens or broad ligament of uterus so this is one of the surgical uh, actually surgical construction this is one of the surgical construction okay so point where the ureter is crossed by the uh, ductus deferens or broad ligament of uterus so when the ductus deferens actually crosses the ureter over it or in females broad ligament then we actually called it as the uh, point of the uh, third construction okay so it is actually used in surgery now fourth is ureter vesical junction so this position is when your actually ureter enters the urinary bladder so when it enters the urinary bladder then dad construction uh, then there, there is a construction which occurs uh, due to the press in the bladder uh, due to the entry of the ureter inside the bladder and that is called as a fourth construction okay now fifth we have the opening of the when 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 the ureter actually has entered your bladder then it again goes to where it opens in the bladder with that area is actually called as trigonal bladder you know that in the first video i have discussed that part so when it uh, this ureter opens in that region that uh, part is actually called as ureteric orifice so where your ure, uh, ureter actually opens that is called as opening of the ureteric orifice in the trigon of the bladder that is the fifth construction you will see clear so uh, this all this is also a surgical construction you can see uh, this is also the su surgical construction in the most books you will see that only this three uh, construction will be given that is pelvic ureteric junction at at crossing the pelvic brim and third will be the ureter vesical when the ureter enters the bladder so uh, this will be all given in bdc your uh, not uh, not in bdc in bdc there are five constructions all this five are from bdc in grays you will see only three constructions in visham singh also three but in that it is given that these two are the surgical constructions so you can refer that book clear now let's relate this on the diagram all the constructions so let's relate this all the construction on this diagram actually so in this diagram you can see this one is your renal pelvis this is a ureter actually so this is actually the pathway when it is entering inside the bladder so first construction as i told you will be seen in the pelvic ureteric junction okay so it will be actually seen in the pelvic ureteric junction so this is the first construction so as i told you the upper end of the ureter and the renal pelvis so here actually there will be the first construction this area clear 
so this will be your first construction here pelvi urethral junction now second i told you at it crosses the pelvic brain so this area is actually your pelvic brain when it is crossing or you can say it is crossing over the common iliac artery also so this is the common region like pelvic brain crossing the pelvic brain so this will be the second construction this will be the first and this will be the second and third i told you vas deferens so you can see here in this diagram vas deferens is being crossed over the ureter here clear so this will be your third construction and a broad ligament in females clear and fourth will be your ureter vesical junction as i told you so you can see the ureter is being entered inside the bladder vesical is a word used for bladder actually so as you have written this ureter vesical junction so here will be your fourth construction clear fifth i told you opening of the ureteric orifice so here this is the trigon of bladder anatomically and this ureteric orifice where actually your ureter opens here this is the opening and when it actually opens in the trigon then again there is a construction in this and that construction is actually at the level of the opening of the ureteric orifice so this will be your fifth construction so i think it is clear so pelvic brim uh, first pelvic ureteric pelvic brim vas deferens ureter vesical junction entry of the ureter inside the bladder and the opening of the ureter inside the trigono bladder will be the last okay so this is the these are the constructions of the ureter now let's move on to the blood supply now in blood supply uh, we have actually according to the parts we will divide the blood supply upper part middle part and the pelvic part so in upper part the ureter is supplied by the renal artery the artery which is supplying the kidney okay so from that uh, artery there will be branch will be given to the ureter and the gonadal artery so these two arteries will be giving branch to the upper part of the ureter to for the blood supply and these supplies actually come to the ureter from the medial side okay from the medial side i will show you on the diagram just discuss the theoretical part and the middle part will be the branches from the aorta so directly from the aorta abdominal aorta there will be some branches which will be supplying the ureter and some branches can also come in the middle part from gonadal and the internal iliac artery and in the pelvic part when it enters in the pelvic brim after entering the pelvic brim or in the pelvic inlet so it supplies changes and it actually supplied by vesicle so vesicle is a uh, artery which supplies actually your bladder urinary bladder and in that we have superior and the inferior branches so all and these branches actually originates from internal iliac artery okay so they are the sub branches of internal iliac artery so they will be also giving direct branch to ureter and there the branch will also be given by the middle rectal artery the artery which will be supplying the middle part of the rectum they will be also giving the ureteric branch okay and the uterine arteries in the female so uterine vessels will also be giving the blood supply to the ureter in the pelvic region and remember this point anatomically that they will receive the branches from the lateral side okay so now i'm going to show you all the arteries on the diagram okay so that you can relate it so you can see this this diagram actually so you can see this diagram here so as i told you the upper part upper part is supplied by the upper part is supplied by the renal artery so you can see here the renal artery is giving branch to ureter right and the left this this is your renal artery okay so this is giving branch to the upper part so this area is actually your upper part and this is your renal artery okay first branch in gonadal artery as i told you gonadal artery you can see these are the small branches it is going right and the left so gonadal artery includes ovarian and the testicular artery ovarian in female and testicular in male clear so this are the two arteries which is supplying the upper part middle part uh, part is supplied by some what of uh, gonadal artery also gives some uh, sub supply sub supply to the middle part gonadal branches and the internal iliac artery so internal iliac artery is also gives some branches to this middle part okay you can see here so this is the abdominal aorta this common iliac common iliac further gives into external and the internal so common iliac external and the internal iliac artery clear this much so middle part done now it when it enters the pelvic there will be your vesical branches vesical branches include inferior vesical artery uterine artery so this artery actually comes from internal iliac artery so they are actually deep arteries so these are not shown because they are comes from actually from the lateral side so the what is the meaning of medial was that these arteries are in the medial side medial means ureter is present medial to 
this abdominal aorta so branches are going from medial side to the lateral side so that is the meaning that ureter is supplied from the me medial side in the upper and the middle part when it reaches the pelvic part they are supplied from this side so arteries will be here somewhat here vesical arteries okay so they will be give, giving branches in the pelvic part from the lateral to medial side so meaning is that clear and th second will be the middle rectal artery okay middle rectal artery it is also branch of your internal iliac artery and your uterine artery they are also branch of the internal iliac artery so all these three branches inferior vesical uterine and middle rectal are giving the pelvic part so these are the branches from internal iliac artery, not the external so internal iliac is actually involved in the blood supply of the pelvic part of the ureter clear so this was a blood supply and anatomical instruction hope you like the video thank you do subscribe the channel